It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come. It's your move. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility. While his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children, and they planned to start a new life in Milan where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well, see for yourself. Here, 
You killed me? You killed me? Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. Uh -huh. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Ma certo. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... Uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <coughs> In a way, yes, sister. And that's you. You can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> It depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! <laughs> you have our gratitude, Elsa. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. 
And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies? Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. Welcome, welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours! We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear, and inch ever closer to victory! Welcome, benvenuti! Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. and strongest in Venezia, you are now one step closer to the grand prize.